out on the red couch and it was certified fluffy and comfortable so fluffy. from Mr. Adam Agan. Yes. So welcome to the couch Thank room. you. Thank Thanks you so much for me. being here. Yeah. So we caught wind of you um, through some alumni, through some friends, and you're floating around town doing your thing, writing mm -hmm. your soul. And it ripped mine out a few times. But before we jump into ripping people's souls out, um, tell us where you're from. So I am from Indiana, and I've been in Nashville for 12 years now. Oh, you know, and after 10 years, you're considered a local. Oh, I feel like I'm a local. So welcome. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel like I'm OG. You're, you're OG now. Yeah. You're original gangster now. So welcome. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so tell us, like, I know that you did self-care. Mm -hmm. with um, Stealing Oceans, mm -hmm. Class 5, shout out Brian. Um, so you co-wrote on this song with him, right? Yeah, so um, I was playing a house show, and he happened to be there, and we, mm -hmm. he was like really compelled by my performance, mm -hmm. and we got to talk in, and we both have went through a, a, a recovery story, mm -hmm. and we got to talk about that, and we started, like we exchanged numbers, and it was like a, a year-long process before we met to when we first started to create together. Aww. And um, the first song we wrote was about like day one of deciding to change our lives. Ugh. And it's a song called Self Care. So cool. Yeah. And that, um, I think that's so broad because I can pertain to so many different things. So mm -hmm. in music, like I'm sure tons of people I did hit so close to home and hit very hard in their hearts like with, mm -hmm. with such a deep... Um, track like that that was super raw yeah. actually so yeah. um, and as we dove into you <laughs> through self-care um, and introduced you through Brian um, I sat with your music uh, probably like a month ago um, maybe even in the past few weeks too I've been slowly being exposed to more and more music and you have out three new songs um, which is The Fix uh, ghost traps and I'm no savior mm -hmm. and I think after I heard I'm no savior I had to make like an Instagram story tag you in it and be like uh I'm pretty sure this just engulfed me into an ocean of tears thank you very much for that detox so sorry about that <laughs> no no sorry not sorry okay that's how it should be sorry not sorry but tell us like where where um I'm no savior came from because yeah. for me it came, it, I interpreted it in a different way, but where did it come from for you to actually yeah. create it? So those three songs are um, a part of a new full-length record that's coming out very soon, this fall, Woo! called Double Minded Man. Um, and yeah, so I'm No Savior is probably the most personal song I've ever written in my life. It's mm -hmm. not like a song you, like, I co-wrote with somebody. It was, it was um, late, so my wife, I've been married to for five years, um, has a disease called lupus. And it's an autoimmune deficiency, and it is um, it's serious, and it's it really affects her life every day, and it, which in return affects my life every day. And it was early on in our marriage. I was I, mean, I wanted to be like the best husband ever, and I wanted to fix everything, and I couldn't. And um, uh, she, she it it kind of hops your um, like vital organs, so. It's been like in her skin where she gets all these rashes. It's been in her muscles and joints. It's um, she's had four blood transfusions, so it's been in her blood. When we first got married, it was in her muscles and joints, and so it would take her forty-five minutes to put on her pajamas, oh. just to like move her muscles because it was so painful. And I just I was so angry just to see somebody I cared for suffer so much. Mm -hmm. And so we're we're going to bed. You know, it's like nine. At, Nine at night. It's super early. She just can't do anything, so there's nothing else to do. So we're just laying in bed, and I'm, I'm like, I'm not going to fall asleep. I'm just so mad. I just, I want her to be better. Yeah. And so I, I get out of bed, and I go in the other room, and I just, like, I'm bawling my eyes Aww. out, just yelling. I'm no saver. I can't heal her. And, um, yeah. I felt that, man, in the yeah. song, dude. Like, that, I felt feel like there were times that you were yelling and crying at the same time yeah. in the booth. The actual the actual time we I, I it was the last song I recorded for the record because it was like the most personal song and I, I was like I don't want to mess this I don't want to mess up the recording. I don't want to make it too nice and too professional. And so um we did, we tracked it all in one day. No click and um the vocal take is the third 
performance, the fourth one, I just lost it. And the um, the guy that was engineering the session just sat there and was so sweet. He just sat in the moment with me and just we we just like he just embraced the pain, you know. Yeah. And we just sat there for like an hour, and then we were like, that last one was the. That was the one, you know, that was the take. Damn, man, my heart. Like, I'm going to be a blob of nastiness right now. Like, my mascara is going to be running. Is that like when, that's when you direct message me, I think, probably, with a bunch of tear emojis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm crying right now. Yeah. And that, man, that right there, like, that's what music is all about. And, um, you know, they they say that some people um, hear it and then, some people like feel it Mm -hmm. and in that moment like there are very special artists that make me like feel emotions you guys got to check it out (laughs) trust me get a box of kleenexes and make this like a full-on crying detox session because (laughs) it will (laughs) i'm gonna apologize in advance no he is going to say (laughs) you're welcome for that (laughs) detox that you need it anyways yeah (laughs) it's okay to cry yeah man i think it's i think it's um i look at it like um there's some type of like poison inside of there that needs to get out and Mm -hmm. apparently have a lot of poison in my body <laughs> because I cry all the time yeah. <laughs> but um but tell us something like random or strange or weird or unique okay. or illegal no, just <laughs> <laughs> that um that most people don't know about you yeah I got a weird one um oh, ready okay so <laughs> when I wake up in the middle of the night mm-hmm. and I need to go to the bathroom I hate the taste of you know like the the bad breath taste oh. you know what I do is I, I drink pickle juice in the middle of the night to get the bad taste. I really like pickle juice. That is weird. So weird. I know. I, like, A, that's weird. Let's and just it's draw only attention one, to how weird that is. It's only one <laughs> brand of pickles that I Uh-oh, like. what is it? Clausen Hardy Garlic brand. What? You guys can sponsor him. I'll, I'll take some pickles. Yeah, a year's worth of pickles. Sure. So he has enough pickle juice to drink 365. <laughs> this is getting so weird. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Oh, every time that we see you from here go forward, it's, we're just going to talk pickle yeah, juice, okay, yeah. for the rest of your life. I know. So um, back to music. Yes. You did a sync. You've done some sync stuff. You've been in the sync world. Oh, yeah. Um, You've worked with Flurry, which is also part of Class 11. Yeah. But tell us, like, some of the sync stuff that you're most proud of or excited yeah. about. Yeah. Um, a few years ago, um, uh, Dick Sporting Goods used yeah. one of my songs all for a commercial for, like, all of March Madness. So, like, oh, that's and it's a sporting, cool. It's a sporting brand during Ma- March Madness. Uh-huh. And it was, like, a really... One of, like, a motive piano piece, and it was a really, really cool commercial. Nice. Um, I've had Grey's Anatomy and CNN and Coors Light commercials. and Dude, that's uh, really cool. Yeah. So you have something out now, right, um, on Stars? Is that what you said? A song I wrote with Flurry, actually. Yeah, was, yeah. Was on a, it's been on a promo for a new television show on Stars. He's just over here killing the game. a Square's <laughs> over here killing the game with his pickle juice. <laughs> And it sinks, okay? <laughs> uh, so, um, it's going to bite me in the butt. Our last question is wild. So, W H Y L D, what have you learned, dude? So, my band um, was what has really had done a lot of stuff mm-hmm. a few years ago. And um, we got signed to the big major label. We were, you know, playing big theaters and big shows. And um, I wasn't enjoying it. I was, I, I wasn't. You know, it was always a dream to be on a record, you know, have a record yeah. deal and to have these syncs and, ta- and like play to all these people. And um, I was I was still thinking about what's next. And I think my advice is to enjoy now. I didn't savor what was good. Yeah. You know, and you realize it once it's taken away, you know, like yeah. I'm not on a label anymore. I'm 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 grinding indie style uh-huh. again, you know. Yeah. And it's good, but it's hard, you it know. It is hard. And um so I think being able to recognize the good and everything mm-hmm. is my advice. Stop and smell the flowers. Yeah. Yep. And just like uh, some someone said to me recently, you're given the strength for today today. Mm. So you're given enough strength to take care of today. Mm-hmm. And then tomorrow you're given enough strength to take care of tomorrow. Yeah. So just live in what you have today. Mm-hmm. I mean, don't go spending your rent check on buying everybody shots at the bar, okay? <laughs> we got money for tonight. You gotta be strategic, 
-hmm. but but living in the moment and living today um with the strength that you have for today yeah so, Get it's a, the balance man yeah the freaking life balance yeah well some golden advice from mr adam Egan. thank you <laughs> yeah. very much Thanks man for me. we are going to sync him up on all things socials website all that good stuff so you can legally stalk him thank you guys we're out of here adam Egan.